Hi friends, welcome to Stunner Share. So in this video, we are going to see the post market analysis of Nifty and Bank Nifty. As well as we all we will also see uh, the inside camera loss stocks how it has worked. Uh, before moving on to this video, first of all, watch the inside camera loss stocks how to trade the inside camera loss stocks. I have uploaded that video on Pangus and the A to Z channel, and I have also added subtitles to that to that video so that uh, you can uh, like uh, non Tamil uh, speakers can also uh, understand that uh, video content. If in case still you are not able to understand that, uh, try watching um, videos from now on, uh, from today onwards in Stunner Share channel, where I'll be like covering post market analysis as well as the inset camera loss stocks. So I will try to cover all the information over here itself. Clear. Moving on to this video further. So firstly, we'll see Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty started with a good gap up, and uh, on yesterday's analysis, what I told was like. Uh, if today's low is not going to get breached, then we might see upper part of the parallel channel. So that is what my expectation. That was my expectation for uh, Bank Nifty to happen. But unfortunately, I was expecting to hear market might uh, like Bank Nifty might go towards here. That was my expectation. But unfortunately, it did not happen the same way what was expected. And uh, initially, it was with a good gap up, and later it. It was like completely um, trending day. It has happened, and it was like broken all the zones and uh, even closed below the uh, previous day low as well. So now, what would be my view in uh, uh, Bank Nifty? That will be a good question to you all. So I shared this particular uh, uh, post in Twitter as well. So my expectation in Bank Nifty is like I am changing my bias into bearishness. So. If that bearishness is going to continue, then I might expect Bank Nifty to come towards uh, thirty-three thousand zone. There, I can be wrong, but my expectations for Bank Nifty is like turning to bearish, and that bearishness might bring Bank Nifty towards thirty-three thousand zone. So let us see how Bank Nifty is going to behave further. Uh, not exactly very sure that this will exactly happen and if this is happening it's like nearly 2000 points fall so that will drag um, that might drag nifty some 700 points as well so i'm unsure i'm unsure like uh, what what needs to be um, what will happen in the uh, near future but uh, if the pattern is going to continue then we might see at least a fall towards uh, this zone of around 33000 so this is my expectation in bank nifty for coming days uh, moving on to the nifty okay nifty view so nifty as well uh, nifty was nifty uh, like every day it was like uh, moving upside only like start flat like see a uh, monday it started flat and trended up upside but bank nifty was trending lower and even yesterday it opened flat and trended upside and today went with a gap up and showed sign of weakness and that is where i posted that the gap might get filled to be very honest i was expecting the gap to get filled and might take support because all these days it was like taking some support and going upside going upside so i was expecting it to take some support over here and uh, start moving up or consolidate that is what my expectation but the fall in bank nifty completely dragged nifty as well and it came uh, towards uh, the uh, uh, L3 zone of uh, Camarilla. So, uh, that will be a one another question like, uh, okay, you said your view is bullish, or uh, sorry, bearish on Bank Nifty, and what is your view on Nifty? That will be a uh, question now. To be very honest, uh, I am like turning into bearish in Nifty as well, and uh, why? Why that would be a question? As I said, it is a breakaway gap, a runaway gap, runaway gap. And I could see this is an exhaustion gap. And how you are saying exhaustion gap? Because see, market closed yesterday over here, and gap up was over here. Okay, and after that, the gap was completely filled, and I could see some exhaustion happening. So, it this this bearishness in uh, Nifty can also come towards this zone. So initially, sixteen thousand three hundred will be my zone of expectation in Nifty. So sixteen thousand three hundred will be like. Uh, say around 250 points fall is what I'm expectation in Nifty, but and in Bank Nifty it's like 2,000 points expectation. So if 700 points fall is going to happen in Bank Nifty, then like Nifty, then it will be like we might retest this zone again. But I'm unsure. I'm unsure uh, on the uh, scenario for now because with just one candle, 
at the top uh, it is not possible to say that the fall will be drastic or the fall can happen in nifty in nifty i i have not seen any pattern yet i have not seen any pattern yet it was like completely moving up only so i don't see any pattern but this if this is going to be an exception gap which is which has got filled then i might expect at least some movement towards 16300 so my initial zone what is expectation if there is any follow through is happening on friday then my expectation will be towards 16300 so now there will be some confusion for you guys and the confusion is with just one day candle why are you turning into bearish and how you are turning into bearish see the point is i could see the bearish pattern so what is my expectation is like if there is no close happening above today's high then ultimately we can see 16300 is, is what my expectation so for example if there is any follow follow up candle happening on friday and we are getting a green uh, sorry red candle happening on friday why friday because thursday is holiday if we are going to get a, a bearish candle on friday then that can trigger a move till 16300 with the stop loss of 16700 clear so this is what my expectation in um, nifty and for bank nifty i have already told and one more point which i missed to say uh, do you guys know what is this pattern if anyone knows what is this pattern kindly pass the video and let me know in the comment section what is this pattern i'll give you like 3 seconds one Two, three. So just comment it in the comment section. What is this pattern? If you guys are not aware of this pattern, this pattern is called as dark cloud pattern. Okay, dark cloud cover pattern. So this pattern tells that uh, a bearishness is seen in the candle, and that can um, like uh, can uh, that actually forms at the top of the trend, and that trend that can uh, can uh, like uh, that can trigger some. correction or some fall in uh, in the market okay this is dark cloud cover pattern just google it and see what is dark cloud cover pattern what is happening so this is what i see in nifty bank nifty i am bearish because of the wolf wave pattern as per the wolf wave pattern expecting here and if you see uh, the entire i was saying like this entire days of uh, consolidation is completely Uh, covered with one bearish engulfing candle okay this bearish candle has taken all nearly like 7 8 days of candles inside it itself so this bearishness might continue and if this is continuing then we might see 33000 as per the wolf wave pattern is what my analysis and for nifty nifty i could see dark cloud cover pattern and if this is going to continue then also we might see some 16300 for now i'm just telling about the support the next support is like 16300 for nifty and for bank nifty i'm going with the pattern clear so this is the nifty view and bank nifty view for um, uh, for the day and for the post market analysis as well post market analysis is like very simple i told you guys that gap filling can happen and how the gap filling will happen was expected is like i could see some sort of head and shoulders pattern and because of the head and shoulders pattern it came down but to be honest i was expecting towards uh, the gap fill only and once after the gap fill i was expecting it to move upside only but but market has uh, uh, dragged down with the help of bank nifty okay let's forget about um, nifty and bank nifty and let's come to inside camera loss stocks which was expected to be trending so there were three stocks one is bajaj finance one is bpcl and other one is reliance let's go with reliance so what was discussed in the uh, yesterday's video is like uh, yesterday's content on inside camera loss stocks i told that if suppose in the stock has to trend then it has to break the previous day high or previous day low so the condition is like it has to break the previous day high or previous day low or it can reject at previous day high and come towards previous day low so this is or previous day low it can reject and go back to previous day high so this is what my uh, uh, expectations on a trend on a stock which is coming under inside camera law that is what i have shared in the video as well and today if you see reliance it did not break previous day high and it did not break previous day low ultimately what happened is like it started flat and went towards previous day high got rejected and came towards previous day low so this is what has happened if you were like focusing on reliance alone you might have taken an entry below this candle keeping an a high a high as the sl and you would have easily got 
some good decent move nearly one is to two to one uh, one is to two points you would have got see you two one seven five below you would, you would have taken an entry and two one eight six nearly 11 points sl and the target you have got is like two one five two which is more than two per, like which is more than one is to two clear so you need to focus on the stock which you wanted to do a trade for example these insects camera stocks which were discussed yesterday you could have noticed this you could have noticed this and you could have watched these stocks carefully and uh, you would have taken a trade accordingly okay so next stock which was in the under inset camera loss stocks is bpcl clear bpcl stock and bpcl stock even the same criteria it did not break previous day high or it did not break previous day low it also started flat and then came towards previous day low and taken a support over here and ultimately if in case you would have taken an entry above this candles high 462 and keeping the stop loss of 461 nearly one rupee uh, like stop loss and here till now this high alone 464.95 nearly four uh, three points you would have got over here which is nearly one is to one is to three but there will be one question like how do how are you asking me to take a trade at this zone that would be one question and uh, the answer for that question is like you need to wait for this support at previous day low or you need to wait for a breakdown at this at the same time on the previous day high you need to either wait for rejection or you need to wait for a breakout so you have to take a calculated risk here you have to take a calculated risk if you see over here this particular these two candles these two candles are showing an inside bar pattern clear inside bar pattern and you also see a support over here so just with one point stop loss you can try your uh, uh, your try you can try your risk over here and see how 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 far it is working okay so this is how you need to defend your trade you have to wait and watch on how the candles are reacting how the candles are forming and that is why i told if you are focusing on only few number of stocks you will be watching that stock only properly and you will be like able to take some decision on that but if you are like wanted to see all the stocks which are in your radar and you just put that put this and track all those things it is not possible so focus on only few stocks if you are going to focus on only uh, inside camera loss stocks so focus on only that and limit that by only choosing nifty 50 if you choose nifty 500 you will at least get minimum of 25 stocks for you for your in your radar clear let me show that as okay this uh, particular screener is for inside camera law for nifty 500 and see how many stocks which are in inside camera law for today not for friday this is for today so 53 stocks are in inside camera law and how you will know which stock you need to watch which stock you need to take and how you will take a trade on that so that is not possible right and even if you see in in the list of inside camera law stocks which all come uh, nearly seven stocks which gave two percentage downside move and uh, nearly like uh, seven stocks seven to eight stocks which gave two percentage upside move so the possible move is there okay near in out of 53 nearly 15 stocks are like moved more than two percentage that is fine but how you will watch all these stocks just so to reduce all these i prefer only nifty 50 and in nifty 50 also i don't prefer trading in banks and finance stocks so i avoid those stocks as, as well so for me today two stocks in radar one is reliance and one is bpcl if there is the setup happening then i will take a trade if not i will avoid okay only two charts i i need to open and keep and i need to trade accordingly clear and the last stock which is in uh, inside camera which we checked yesterday is bajaj finance okay bajaj finance clearly the the first candle itself gave a breakout above the previous day high and what you need to do now last two scenario it did not give a breakout or breakdown but it took support at previous day low and one of the stock took rejection at the previous day high now let us see what you need to do i'll just play the video which i posted yesterday see, uh, Tamil people I think you guys can easily understand that for English people once after the first 15 minute candle check for the risk in that candle if the risk is above one percentage check for pullback and again repeating at PDL stock has to take support okay so what I was saying over here is like if the first candle has given a breakout okay so this breakout is around 91 points which is more than one percentage if this is going to happen then you need to wait for some pullback to happen from for the candles to take rest and if you see two three four candles took some sorry one two three three candles took some rest 
so after that if you want to go for an entry you need to enter about this line and your stop loss will be this line very simple so what is your stop loss uh, 6463 and your entry is 6510 nearly 37 47 points which is less than one percentage and that is your stop uh, stop loss and the high made for today is 6640 so nearly 140 points which is more than one is to two given even it has given one is to three okay but you need to define yourself where you wanted to take an entry where you wanted to exit your uh, uh, target all these things you need to decide and you need to take accordingly and if you wanted to go with ma and for example what i said is like if the candle is closing below ma you can exit so the candle 10 ma if the candle is closed below the 10 ma you can exit so below this candle if you're exiting it will be like 6578 you would have exited and your entry is 6510 6510 and nearly 68 points as uh, target you would have got which is actually 1% to the stock and which is more than your 1% risk in your uh, whatever taken in your uh, whatever you have taken in the risk clear so do like this practice well very simple prefer only very less number of stocks and play accordingly nothing more to do prefer only less number of stocks and watch that stocks how it is performing and play accordingly clear so this is the video which i wanted to make to share some useful content over here if you feel the content is good kindly give a like and if you feel the knowledge needs to be shared to others kindly give a share and if you have any feedback uh, please let me know in the comment section so that it will help us uh, both of, it will help both of us so thanks a lot stay tuned for more videos